With the release of Pro Tools 12.2.1, 11 Rack users get a nice new feature. So let's come up here to Window and come down to the very bottom here. Now you'll notice this 11 Rack. Now, okay, you're gonna say, hey, we've had that there ever since Pro Tools 11 when the 11 Rack editor was taken out. That is true. However, previously, if you remember, this 11 Rack wording was grayed out. It was inactive. But now, as you can tell, it's completely active. It's nice, bold black letters. So let's go ahead and click it and see what happens. And there it is, our 11 rack editor. It's coming up, just give it a second. And there it is, the 11 rack editor launched right from within Pro Tools. Now you'll notice that this is not the integrated editor. If I come down to my toolbar, you'll see uh, right there, 11 rack editor. So what this does when we click the 11 rack, it executes a command that opens the standalone 11 rack editor. So you still have to have the standalone 11 rack editor installed for this to work. Okay, that's pretty cool though. And also if we come here to our edit window and do our little cluster, which if you don't have that, just click this down arrow and choose 11 rack, you'll notice that this button here is now active as well. It's the same exact command as going to window 11 rack. Just click this and your 11 rack editor will also launch that way as well. And there it is. All right, so that's really all I have for this video. I just wanted to make sure that all you guys were aware that in Pro Tools 12.2.1, we can now launch the standalone 11 rack editor right from within Pro Tools using either this button here in our little cluster or by coming to window and choosing 11 rack. So no longer will you have to go to your desktop or open up your start menu or whatever to launch 11 Rack Editor, you can do it right from within Pro Tools and never have to leave the Pro Tools interface. And lastly, you can actually click this button when the 11 Rack Editor is already open and that will hide it for you, you know, take it to the back and you can bring it right back to the front just by re-clicking that button, okay? So if you click around in Pro Tools and your 11 Rack Editor gets sent to the back, you don't have to come down to your toolbar. Just boom, click your little button and it will bring it right back to the front.